Wow, that's bright. There we go. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're out on a little pond here. We're gonna do a little bit of bait trapping. And I just wanna get a little bit of bait for tomorrow. We're gonna to be doing uh, some trout fishing. We're gonna put a couple bait traps in, see if we can get some shiners. I'm just gonna show you my gear a little bit and then uh, hopefully catch some fish later on with it. That's how much ice we're on right there. Plenty of ice. I'm gonna use my G's minnow traps. These are the best ones on the market that you can buy. I mean, yeah, a lot of guys go and make them, but honestly, if you just buy these, these traps alone, I got like three of them. These right here will get me enough bait in basically one soak with three traps will get me enough bait for pretty much the whole year. So I like to use dog food, but all I have right now is leftover cat food. Uh, what I do is I build these little cages like this. That way it doesn't float up to the top of the trap and they pick at it from the outside. They actually have to go in the trap to get at the bait. And there's our bait tube there. Some of it's gonna fall out, but that's okay. So I'm gonna just drop that down. I'm gonna wrap this around a stick. And we'll come back and get that in a few hours. Honestly, I'm not gonna wait all day. I might put another one right over here. All right guys, so we're walking into the pond here. I just did a little short three hour soak. And I think we're gonna have some bait in there. Cause this place has a whole lot in it. No one's been trapping it. And you can see, it's actually a pretty small pond. It's like 80 by 40. And there's a load of shiners in here. So let's go see what we got. Bunch of bait. <laughs> Free bait. Oh, it looks way lighter out than it is right now, but the sun hasn't even come up yet. Got to see it over here. All right, get loaded up here. Man, it's chilly. <laughs> get loaded up here, and we'll hike out to the spot. Footage was shot last week, exactly a week ago. We were out ice fishing. We had four and a half inches of ice on that pond. We had plenty of snow and the flows were all good. And now, one week later, we had I don't know how many inches of rain. It was in the mid 50s. It completely destroyed the snow. As you can see, we've got green grass back here. The rivers are completely raging and the ice is no longer safe. I went out and did a little scouting yesterday. Check out some of the footage here.
pretty disappointing because we are kind of getting set up good for snowmobiling and ice fishing and all that fun stuff you do in the winter. But now, I'll probably get my lawnmower back out. I didn't want to leave you guys with just a couple of those little brook trout catches there when we were ice fishing. So I'm going to go put together the fly rods. We're going to go dig those back out of the basement and maybe try to get hooked up on some winter trout. So before I go out today, one thing I am going to do is change out a few of these cleats on these boots. These are the Sims hard bite cleats. And I think I like those a little bit better. In fact, I think I like them a lot better. So I got another pack here. I'm gonna take off these aluminum bite cleats, which you can see have completely worn flush with the boot and it's like ice skating on rocks. They do not work at all for where I fish anyways. So we're gonna take out those, spread these hard bites around. Hopefully not slip and fall today. So now we got all hard bites except for this one and the one up here because I lost some of my old ones so I didn't have enough to do them all so I might as well leave those in there but that should give us a little bit better traction. Let's go. <sighs> Dude I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to stand in this stuff but let's at least try it. God damn dude this is cold. I already feel my fingers going numb. You guys better hit the subscribe and like button for this. I might not be able to have kids after this one. Spot number two. Alright, don't think it's going to happen here. Spot number four. Ow, this JT Van Handler is a friggin' winch, dude. Oh, we didn't go home empty handed. Nice, easy release. Let him go. Spot number four, five? I don't know, lost count so far. All right guys, well, I'm gonna finish up here for the night. Sorry, we didn't catch any more fish for the video, but man, I tried like hell. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and let's hope that we get some ice and snow real soon. Because this is going to get real old. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Here we go. We can't wait to it, dude. Pick up. Pick up running. Okay. Well. Well. I guess. 